Okay then, the last thing we need to do is to determine which side is going to get the sunlight. So we're going to have a light source. So I'm going to add my light source over here. And to show it's my light source, I'm just going to put a little star over here in the corner just to remind me. That means that the front of this is going to get the light. So the shadow is going to be over here. Now this little part underneath is under, so that's going to be even less shaded because it's underneath. So we're going to add shading. This is probably going to get some sunlight, so that's probably even going to be a little lighter. I can even take some of that out. And this part and this part will have some shading too. So we're going to go in and you're going to look for um, the three-dimensional part that's actually going to get shaded. And you're going to shade that in. If it gets less light, um, you're going to shade a little darker. If it's going to get some light, kind of a medium. If it's going to um, get quite a bit of light, but it's not the lightest side, then that can be pretty light. So you can have variations on your shading here. But all of this part will have shadow. A little darker in there. You'll probably take a little more time and do a better job on shading. I'm trying to go pretty quick so you can get started. All right, and then that means on the other side, this part, the 3D part, is going to stay the lightest, and your shading is going to be your letters. So on this side of it, you're going to shade your actual letters, and they're all basically going to be the same amount, of, the same value of darkness. So there won't be any that's too light, because we're not going to do any cast shadows on this. Okay. Add the shading here. Um, if you'd like to really challenge yourself a little bit, there is going to be some parts of the 3D that might be a little, um, have a little bit of shadow to them, just because it's underneath. Like under here, you might see a little bit of shadow coming down because this is blocking that. You might see a little bit of shadow in here, um, in the R. So I can add little bits here and there if I want. Um, but that's just extra because that's more of a cast shadow and we're really not going to focus on that for this unit but it's a great way to challenge yourself and to uh, push yourself a little harder um, to add those cast shadows in here so do your best um, to kind of add this in if i want to blend it a little bit i can but then i need to kind of clean up around there okay so we're gonna finish this out The E is a good one that would definitely have some cast shadows, so we'll revisit that as soon as I'm done with the T here. Okay, so what I mean by that cast shadow, I'm going to kind of zoom in quite a bit here, is if the light source is coming from up in this area, this is going to get a lot of light. This lower side might have a little bit of a shadow. It's not going to be as dark as this side. Okay, because this is facing away from the light, but it could get a little bit of shadow. I might even have just a little bit right at the top there. Okay, so if you'd like to challenge yourself and add some of those, that is fine. Just make certain then that your shading on the actual sp spot that would have shadow is a little bit darker. So if I'm going to add some cast shadow, I'm probably going to want to darken this shading up a little bit so that I have the ability to get a little um, shading without going quite as dark as this. So this might have a little bit right in here. Um, it might have a little bit in here, but it's going to be a very light shadow. Okay, so go ahead and add your shading. 